So, this is TACOM's new 35th scale V1 that I want to show you as well. This is um, been a very wanted kit. I had the old resin one from years ago from Ar Acrid Armor or whatever it was. It was a dog to build and it was so heavy and everything else. This is finally a fully injection mold with a full length launch ramp. So let's have a look. Okay, so this is the um, the new Tacom V1 flying bomb and launch site. So you can buy this or you can buy the V1 by itself. The V1 by itself comes with a whole lot of extra internal parts, clear fuselage, I explained that earlier to you. This, this is lovely. This is something I've been wanting for years. As I told you, I had a resin one and I just never got around to building it. So let's have a look at this one. 35th scar, fully injection molded. Tacom's usual style of uh, instruction book, all nicely laid out and set up and tells you exactly what you need to do. Uh, there are colour call-outs in it and it gives you pictures of the end and that's all your different colours and the colours of the bomb that you might want to do. But in the end, you can do it whatever colour you like because they were a multitude of different builders and constructors and they all had different colours, frames and everything else. So that's pretty good. This is a big model. That's a decal sheet. Uh, for a bit, few bits and pieces in there. As I said, this is a big model. So, first up, this is the 35th scale V1 bomb. Now, V1 bombs have been out before and I've built a number of them. This looks really, really good. I'm intrigued that they've done this section separately because I might, may be wondering if they might be doing the uh, American version of this, which is called the JB1 Loon which had a slightly different setup here. So maybe, maybe they're gonna do a American or post-war series one. So that's that. There's the wings for it. There's a structure inside the wings to support it so it's, it keeps its shape. There's all sorts of bits and pieces, of tail planes, things like that. Now, the actual ramp and other bits and pieces. In the kit, they, sh they have the ramp, the V1, and all the parts to go with launching the, the, the weapons. So you're basically covering everything in there. So in the model, do they include all that? Absolutely they do. There's the, this is part of all the launching gear and the equipment. This is all the, uh, this is the rocket part of it, I think. Yep, so there's that. That's, this is the piece that goes inside the thing, the tube that helps it launch along the, the rail along up the ramp there's also bits there for the ramp there's also these are all bits and pieces for the launching unit uh again oh they actually give you two sprues because there's a number of parts you use so you can actually build two of these if you wanted to this is part of the lower section of the launch bay so this is right back where the weapon is actually first sitting so this is all part of that sort of part there's no real sprue uh, flash on this at all so it's going to be easy to clean up this is all part of the stands for each uh, section of the of the rail uh, of the launch rail so that's they're just nicely done it's really really well molded nice shaped it's got even got rivet detail in it and everything else like that this is um i think this is part this is the fuel tank this is all part of fuel tank for refueling the weapon so that's all those sort of bits and pieces uh this is this is more parts of the uh, launching frame and launching uh equipment so there's all these bits and pieces there's a lot in it you'd think that just the rail and everything else but no they've actually done a really lot of work now i'm not going to open all the bags but this is the main section of each there's five of these in in the back so you can you end up going to have a fairly long launch stand uh, one of the things i'm going to do i'm going to build the first section and the second section of the launch ramp but then I'm going to put a, uh, a bit of brass tube in there, build the third, fourth and fifth sections and have the tube in that so that I can then um, have it that I can take it apart easily. But it's still got enough strength in it that it's going to support it because it'll fit inside these. But again, the detail on this is just superb. All these little plates, all these sort of sections of it, the tubing, everything. So as you can see, it's quite, quite detailed. It's just, it's just really well done, and the beauty of it is, it's not going to weigh the ton that the resin one would have weighed, because uh, I reckon uh, the frames that they had in the in the resin resin kit would collapse. This may even need a bit of strengthening, but if you're building each section, there's not there's not that much weight in it as a separate piece, so it should be all right.
So there you go guys, that's the V1 with launch ramp. It's a full size launch ramp, so that'll keep you busy for some time. It's a great kit, drop in and see us, drop into the two stores, go online, have a great day, take care, bye.